Good morning, interwebs. It's just a little before 1.30, and we are in Manhattan. Steve was not feeling well this morning, but he, he's a trooper and he's here anyways. We are on our way to Target, which we like never come to Target anymore. But we are here to return a Christmas gift that was sent to our house that I don't, don't quite understand how the, uh, the gift giver thought it was an appropriate present for our family, but is now going to be returned. And then we will buy a more appropriate gift. And then I have acupuncture and Joanne's trip. And I'm sure we'll come up with some more errands. We always do. And we shall bring you along for some, if not all of it. Successfully <laughs> acupunctured and now we're at Penda. And now a quick trip to Menards for some dog shampoo because dogs are smelly and we would like them to be slightly less smelly. Well, we didn't end up getting any dog shampoo at Menards because they no longer carried the big bottle for the big dogs. They had the same shampoo we had been getting before, but in a little bottle. And it just seemed worthless and like a lot of trash for the amount of soap that was in it. So we will get soap at Walmart or something. Anyways, we uh, did find some Christmas gifts there for the remainder of my family that I needed gifts for. I just need to uh, get them in the mail. And then we went to Joanne's. I think that was the next thing we did. And I needed to get some more supplies for various things. And I got some stuff to make curtains, like the rest of the supplies that I needed. I had the fabric already. And oh, all of a sudden my nose itches. I think there's something. And I don't know. You know like when people yawn and it makes other people yawn? There's some weird like human phenomena that when you start talking and you're like filming yourself that you then want to scratch your nose. Because I watch so many videos of people who are like, my nose doesn't itch at all. And then I pick up the camera and all of a sudden it's like, I don't know. The camera reaches out and like pokes me in the nose. And lots of people have this issue, not just me. They might not word it quite the same, but lots of people have this issue. Then I, uh... I said I went to Joanne's, got the stuff I needed. Oh my goodness. They must have holiday help in or something because the person at the cutting table was ridiculous. She was the slowest cutter I've ever had. Like, I've had slow ones and I've complained about their slowness. But Steve will attest that this was the worst. And on top of it, she was trying to, like, cut the exactest amount of fabric on everything like you know there's always that feeling like Joanne's is kind of shorting you well like I she probably was like in the long run but at some point I didn't even care anymore like ordinarily I, I like say something now like oh yeah last time I was here I didn't have enough blah 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 can you make sure that there's the full amounts I was just like can you just get this done anyways uh it was it was very stressful and then we came home. And we came home, we got to play our new game that we bought with the uh, returned sumo wrestler game, which was weird and I had problems with on multiple levels. But instead, we bought Oregon Trail the card game, which I have no problems with on any level. <laughs> Except when we first started playing it, all five of us were playing. And immediately, one of my kids picks the card that says, you have dysentery, you have died. And they started to cry. And I was like, oh, would, would you like to pick again? By the end, we had fully explained, despite the fact they had played Oregon Trail on the computer, but not like, not the way Steve and I had played when we were growing up. Um, but they had played before. So they had an idea of what Oregon Trail was. But we explained that basically, the whole point of the thing is that you're on a wagon train and people die like that's it's like a thing and we watched the little we tried to read the instructions and figure it out and we did for the most part but they also had like a youtube video tutorial from the company which we watched and watching that made it so much like better and made more sense than the written instructions but it was also very clear from that video that the whole purpose was um you have dysentery you have died that is kind of the the thing but that was fun, and I got to be the person who wrote all the funny quips on everybody's tombstones. So that was that was an amusing thing we did. And then everybody went to sleep, and I have been sitting here working on 
the last cardigan for Christmas. And it is going, I don't know, I think it's actually going at a decent pace, but at this point no pace seems fast enough, and yeah. And it's made out of a mill end, which I think is Karen Simply Soft, and I don't like Karen Simply Soft, but I have a bunch of this yarn, and I need to use it, and the kids will like it, and I made a sweater out of it last year that held up just fine. I just don't really like working with it, but eh, it's, it is what it is. Okay, I am going to, it's 2.20 right now, and I suddenly got like my post-acupuncture sleepy. I only say it that way because it feels slightly different than my usual, even just like sudden sleepy comes over me. Um, so I don't know, clearly my body has some things to be doing. So, um, I realized that I could go to bed or I could go on the couch in the other room and crawl under my blanket in front of the tree. So I'm going to go hang out with my snow person and uh, curl up under my blanket and sleep by the light of the pretty, pretty lights, which I was telling Steve about it last night. So he is already probably not expecting me to come to bed. Or maybe I will at some point when I wake up. But for a while, I'm going to go sleep under my tree because it just makes me so happy. And it doesn't always make me happy to do it, but on the days when it does, you got to just brace it because, you know, it's a short-lived thing. Anyways, that was our day. It was busy, but not like super crazy. It went fairly smoothly. Everyone stayed in relatively good moods. Even Steve, like I said, did not feel well this morning, but was feeling better by this afternoon. He just had a headache and just felt off and that's no good, but I was glad he came. He was good company, even though he thought he might not be. And now, um, yeah, we just hope we don't get dysentery and die. Anyways, I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty night.